right. All right, here we go. Oh, he's a little, a little <laughs> Roosevelt League bass. <laughs> RJ, what is that? Hey, that's oh a good start, goodness. good start. Oh my goodness. That's a little guy. Now that's what we call a buck bass <laughs> right here at Roosevelt Lake. <laughs> Look at that. We probably shouldn't even show this, folks. We're planning <laughs> on catching bigger fish than this today. We're at Roosevelt Lake with my good friend, great sponsor of the show forever, RJ. Richard Suzuki, folks, you've seen him all over the billboards in town. <laughs> I've seen you at the bus stops. Even some bus stops, right? Every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, it's great. It's good to have you out. Yeah. The last time we had him out, we really struggled to catch some fish there at Saguaro. It was just a bad day. And you caught the big fish of the day, though. I got the big fish. And, yeah. I think so, I only caught one. Yeah, well. You caught the other two. We only had like three <laughs> fish, I think, that day. But we had a blast. And I told him, I says, well, get up here to Roosevelt Lake. Maybe we'll catch some fish. And you said, it. how long ago was it? You, you just won a tournament here. Yeah, I, or, I won a tournament a couple years back oh, over here, but we're flipping back. on the tunnel in. Oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah, he's a, he's definitely loves fishing. Zach Haroda, he, uh, he runs this big Suzuki boat, and uh, uh, they get out here and fish once in a while, but you haven't had a chance to get out and fish as much as you like right now. No, unfortunately, not as much <laughs> as I want, and I don't think any fishermen say they fish as much as they want to fish, right? Well, I don't know about that. Right. But. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe you do. <laughs> no, today... We came out here, we just got out here. I haven't been here for a while, but we're, we're throwing some Senkos. It's pre-spawn. The fish are just starting to move up. I noticed the lake has come down about two feet, which we're gonna play around and see what we can't do to catch some of these fish, slow down a little bit. Uh, I did see one when, when you were picking me up with the boat, up really shallow, a beautiful fish, two, two and a half pounds, way up shallow in a tree. So I figured, hey, right, let's try the Senkos first. And what makes the Senko so nice, that weightless Senko, is we have them right now weedless. And we might go to that wacky style later, but a weedless style Cinco is a lot of fun to throw, especially with your buddies and stuff. It would this time of year, because what we do is just basically rig this thing up where it looks just like that. I'm using a two-aught owner uh, hook. We're using a 10 pound test leader, a little four inch watermelon Cinco. And the reason why we're using that four inch is more finesse style. Um, for those fish right up there on the bank. And this you can throw up in the trees, it's weedless, and you don't get hung up nearly as much, unless it wraps, and we experience that, and that happens once in a while. But a lot of times you can pull it out of those trees. Well, there's a lot of brush in this, and we wanna be in the middle of this brush. And I mean, we wanna get back there as shallow as we can, and kind of drag it out of that brush, maybe put it in that brush. So this makes a perfect, perfect presentation, and it's weightless. So all you need is the Senkos and the hooks and you're ready to go. And Johnny, so, I asked you a little bit about the leader yeah. and why you use the leader. Yeah, well, this kind of I like the leader. I don't, we're using a white Nanafil line and it's that neutral buoyancy line. It lays on the water and you watch your line taken off, things like that. It's like a bobber, I love right. it. But I, I like to hook up a 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader, fluorocarbon sinks uh, naturally and it's uh, really invisible underwater. So a 10 pound test leader is perfect for this. Uh, I don't recommend going any lighter than that for the kind of fishing we're doing because we are fishing this brush. If you hook a good, good fish, uh, you wanna be able to get it out of there. 10 pound test is stretching it sometimes if you hook a five pounder or something in there, but if we have to, we'll go in after it. You button it up against the bush and go right. in there real quick. But you know, uh, I've had a lot of success doing this. And I love the spinning outfit because we're throwing such a light bait that we can flicker this thing out there wherever we want to, and we don't have to worry about all the backlashing and things like that with a real light bait like this. And sometimes you gotta offer that presentation, but that's what we're gonna do today. So hopefully we catch them. I gonna, we're gonna catch them, we're gonna catch them. All right, we're all gonna right, get let's them, have some good time. Let's, get, let's, get, let's catch some fish here on Roosevelt Lake. Oh, oh, there's a good one. Oh, that's nice. a little bit there better fish, son. <laughs> In that bush. Here we're looking at his, his hook. Look at that fish, That's RJ. a nice one, buddy. All right, son. Those are the fish I want you to catch right there. That's, that's, ah, a, that's a nice bass. fish right there. Oh, I barely got him hooked underneath the jaw. He can come off anytime. Get out of, get over here. <laughs> right on, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Those that's are the kind of fish look we're looking for. Look at his eyes all bulged Holy out God. like that. It's almost like you caught him in deep water, but he's not caught in deep water. That is crazy. Mugsy. <laughs> so that's a that. beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. 
Let's fix your hood and get right you back on, out brother. there. Good look at that. Good job. See you, buddy. Oh, look, look, look. There goes my line. There goes my line. Oh, I got him. Holy moly. I got him. <laughs> oh, he's not a big one, but yeah. See what I'm saying about that line going yep. out though, like yeah, yeah, a bobber? Yeah. See what I'm saying? It just takes off like that. He's not a big giant fish, but it's he's a still fat a good one. one. Fat yeah, one. Fat. All right, brother. All right, let me get it out there. It's all you. <laughs> oh no. Got one. You got you one? Go. Yep. You got him? Oh, oh, I had one. I missed him. You still got him? Yeah, he's on. I feel him moving. You want me to? Oh, you got. Oh, there we go, buddy. <laughs> there you go, RG. There we go. You nice got little cinco bass. Huh? Nice little cinco bass. Little cinco bass. Oh, that's a small mouth. Oh, it is. You got a small mouth, man. Get him up in there here. We you go. got him. <laughs> that's a nice small mouth. Folks, that's a smallie. And that's why I like that four inch cinco, too. They'll hit that four inch cinco, them smallies will. It's a little male smallie, but man, look at that. Beautiful nice fish. Little fish. You nice know, little these fish smallie. are actually bigger than what we're showing you because, I mean, look how big we are. I mean, you know. <laughs> What are you, 6'6"? Six, six? Oh, 6'3". Six, oh. <laughs> yeah. Does that just put a three-pounder? Yeah, at least. <laughs> hey, that's a little smally there. Oh, that's awesome. There I just got go. bit in there, too. That so, was fun. All right. Yeah. All right. Now you, know you know what the feel is. Now you know what the feel is. It's my Good first job. Cinco Bass. There we go. Is it really? Yeah. You got, got him? One. Yeah. Got you him. got him? Yep. He's coming. <laughs> there you go. We got one. Hey, Richard got another one. Throwing a Cinco up shallow. There you go. Where was he, in that tree? Right in the tree, as soon as Need I put help? it in, he just down. Need it. help? Nope, we're good. All right. Bring him in. Look at that, that's a lot better fish than that smallie you caught. That's a nice one there, huh? There you go, there you go. Now he's on fire. There we now go, now he's There's on two. fire. There's two. And how many of Cinco fish have you legitimately caught now? Two. Okay. Two today. So this is the first time you've been out single yeah, fishing. Absolutely. There you go, folks, right there. It's a nice little bass. That's why this is a lot of fun to do. <laughs> right there. There you go. Got Did one. you get him? Nice one, yeah. Nice Seems one? Nice. I don't know. I saw that line. You gonna get him? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's not a bad one. Don't let him get in the bush. Don't let him get, get him in the go, bush. Go, go. Oh no, he got in the bush. We got him. Oh, you got him. Oh, that's a nice one, man. That's a decent one. Hey, right there, there you look go. at that. RJ. Brother, that line just took off. On I me. told you. That I told, line just took off. Didn't I tell you trying to work him out of that brush? Oh, yeah. You just got to keep him on there. It's a blast. It's fun just seeing the line take off. Oh, yeah. You going to get it? Mm -hmm, got him. I saw a fish down here. I was just playing with it. You got it? Yep. Got him. Look at that. It's a nice little fish there. Little Suzuki bass. <laughs> There we go. That was fun. All right, we're waiting for the big ones. I picked up a little swim bait just out of curiosity, and you catch that fish. That's just my luck. There you go. There's one. There you go. Yeah, it's just a little book bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll get around in those trees. Come on. Those are just, got one. you got one? Yeah, he's on. Did we just double? You were just, oh, oh I saw up? that. I saw yeah, that. On. You had him on. I was watching you too much. I didn't pay attention to my own line. I didn't see nothing. Didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. All we right. almost had a double. We almost had a double. We're going to get ah. one today. Got him. Oh, oh, that was a nice one, dude. That's exactly what we're looking for. Get him in here, RJ. There you go, baby. He jumped out of the water. Right on. That's a good what one. What happened, man? He jumped he out of the water. He out of it. there, son. Oh, my goodness. That's a good one. We came back here, folks. We're, we're back in the uh, That's a nice in the wood, one. man. We came fish. to chop some wood. <laughs> you were really Did you really see him jump off that water? And then I just stopped and he that, took it. That's a nice that fish. was incredible. That was fun. Look at that little fat one. Look at that. It's a nice one. Yeah, that was That's fun. what you're looking for right there. Right there. I was Top wondering if there with was... the Cinco. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, yeah, huh? That's nice there. All right. That was nice. Great that was job. Fun. Great job. We came back here into the trees just to see if they were ready to go. And I haven't really found anything I'm real excited about. I was like, ah, maybe we should move into the second part. Like I said, we were over there. Right. 
and hoping maybe they'll get up here a little shallower and we'll see them, but he came up and blasted you. Well, he jumped out of the water and he didn't even have the sink on his mouth yet. <laughs> so that's fun. He's got it. He's got it. Is it a good one? No, I don't think so, unless he's following me. <laughs> oh, that's a decent one. You're putting it on him, buddy. <laughs> you're putting it on him. Hey, can you tell me what you're throwing, son? You know what, I'm just throwing a four-inch Cinco, buddy. I saw the look on your face this morning when I caught those fish, and now look at him. He's got the there hang go, of it, buddy. folks. He's got the hang of it. That was my fish. <laughs> I was going to throw in there, and I'm like, ah, you know, and then you picked the right spot, man, and just nailed it. Oh, I threw it right in that shade. I know. Right well, that's just perfect. Threw. That's perfect. There you go. The shade. That was nice. Right on, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank hey, you. you're getting it down now. All right, now I don't have to coach no more. You're on your own. <laughs> I'm going to catch me a dang fish. <laughs> well, I'm learning from the best. Oh, my goodness. You, one thing you never pass up on is a shade pocket, ever. If you can toss in those shade pockets, I don't care if it's winter time. They use it for ambush, it, you know, oh, yeah. to ambush their prey. Well, I saw you missed it, so I right away threw in there. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> I was hitting the outside bush out there. I wanted to see if anything was on that outside bush. You got it. Here we go. There we go. Nice, nice. <laughs> he right on that wall. See by that bush up there? Sure was. <laughs> That's a nice one there. <laughs> well, he's not quite as big as the one you had. <laughs> But we'll take it. We'll get take any here. fish we can get. Oh, yeah. Look at that, folks. Oh, they're getting a little bigger back here. We pulled out of the trees back there. Weren't quite getting the bites we wanted yet. And figured we'd try this wall on the way out. And it's got some scattered brush piles and stuff in it. And, and it's a little bit deeper. So if, it's, if they're just starting to move up, what a great spot. Yeah, nice. look at that. Ooh, great fish. Hey, I finally caught one. Man, I thought there for a while you were gonna catch them all. That ain't fair. Yeah, we'll take some turns. Okay, that sounds good. Hey folks, for my tip of the week, one thing that's really cool is in the spring, when bass get up and start making their beds, they don't like any kind of bluegill. So what I like to do sometimes, and you'll get more bites doing this, is we're, we're throwing just a watermelon colored Cinco today. But if you take a little chartreuse marker and take and just mark up the tail with just the, the tip of it with a little chartreuse on it, I'm telling you right now, it looks just like a bluegill tail and they don't like bluegill in the area. And when you throw that thing down there, you see the little chartreuse tip on there. And I'll tell you what, the bass just go nuts over that. So the, the tip of the week is, is make that bait kind of look like a little bluegill. It's already got the green. So adding that little chartreuse, you can't really see it all that well, but when you put it in the water, it glows, just like the tip of a tail for a bluegill or a perch. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> those bass go after that. Try not to get in the tree, dude. Okay. You're gonna catch yeah, that yeah. fish, that's a big one. That's gonna be your PB. Do it again, just like I told you. Ease it into the bed. Always ease it in. Let him see it coming in. Get it, get it. He's got it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He didn't put it in deep enough, right? No, he didn't. But I set the hook at the right time, just missed him? Yeah, you okay. just missed him. Try it again. We're going to get him, huh? Oh, that, that's a big fish. You just got to be patient. Yep. This is how you catch these kind of fish. Do the same cast. There you go. Bring it over towards Darren. All right, start twitching. Start twitching. All right. Oh, she's hot. She ain't got it. She got it. Oh my God, you got a good one there, son. Bring it over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, son. Bring nice that one, fish baby. up here. Bring that fish up here. Oh my goodness. Come on, son. Come on, bro. Oh. Come on. RJ, RJ. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Bring it over here. I don't want to touch that line. Come on. Yes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that camera. Yeah. What are you talking there about, you sir? Go. Are you talking? Are you telling me Dude, something? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. 
Yes. Arizona Custom Baits gets the job done, son. There's our big one. What do you think of that crawl? Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Arizona Custom Baits. Thanks, I told brother. you when I went by that fish. There's Holy your PB, God, buddy. That is beautiful. <laughs> I'm trembling a little bit. Yes. Thank you. Oh. That was Dude, awesome. Is that one of the most beautiful fish you've ever seen? Huh? Yes, it was. <laughs> it is. Folks, only right here on Fishing with Johnny Johnson. Look at that, baby. That's nice. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. We've had it. a blast Cinco fishing today, but I'm going to tell you something. We had to let you catch that one, buddy. I saw that, and I'm going to tell you something. He worked that fish for about five minutes, got it right in the right area, but the craw made the difference. That Arizona Custom Baits craw. Let me get a picture of this real quick. Yeah. We got to get a pic. Seven and a half pounds, 750. Dude, that's a way to end the show. I gotta pull out here. Look at this. This craw has been an awesome craw for me for many a years. It's missing the pincher, but just look at that. It's got little flaps on it that when it sits down there, they pull up. And when you barely jiggle the bait, they flap up like this and the bass can't stand it. The one thing that's very important to remember when doing that kind of fishing is to try to keep the bait in the same spot but make it look alive. This bait does all of that. Arizona Custom Baits, that little crawl. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. This was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Got him? I don't know yet. You got him? Oh, no. that's a good one, son. Don't you lose him. Don't you lose him. That's a nice one, baby. <laughs> you caught my fish again. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Look at that fish. Nice. Folks, now here you go. Look at that. Look at that. You got him? You want some help? No, I think he's coming in. There you go. Dude, that's it's a, a beautiful fish. In there. <laughs> yeah, a little Folks, tricky here. This is what I call a great day of fishing. You know, we've gone by quite a few people today, they're struggling, but just picking up the Cinco, having a little fun, going through there, catching the small ones, catching the decent sized yeah. ones. You know, there's big ones out there too, but that's a good one. That's a, that's a good one in the day on, don't you think? Well, I'm a rookie and yeah. hey, hey, you got yeah, me going out the fish. this is the first time you've done Cinco. this. Yep. Oh man, <laughs> there's all kinds of different techniques to learn, but this one right here is a lot of fun and you gotta get out and try it, especially in the spring. You can't beat it, it's a lot of fun. But one thing you have to learn is patience. Let the line lay on top of the water and, and it, it really makes a big difference just letting that thing fall nice and slow. You'll have a lot of fun with it. RJ, thanks for joining us on the show. Johnny, thanks for inviting me, man. How do people get a hold of you? You know what, do you just look up Suzuki Lofts or just give us a call and I'll personally take time to meet with you and discuss all your case options. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. You've Thank been a you, great Johnny. sponsor. And you're coming back out with us again. Absolutely. Yeah, Don't miss it. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Thanks Thank for you. joining us on the on the show today. We'll see you next week. I'm Johnny Johnson. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs>